And we have news to report tonight from Libya. The United Nations today gave the rebels a strong show of support, handing them Libya's seat at the U.N. But on the ground in Libya, as we hear now from NBC's Mike Taibbi, the rebels' work still isn't done. In the Gaddafi stronghold of Bani Walid, 90 miles south of Tripoli, anti-Gaddafi forces moved into the town today with guns blazing, but were held at bay by relentless return fire. So they are cowards. All they do is just shoot and they take off. There's stubborn resistance, too, in Gaddafi's hometown of Sir, where rebels have taken the airport but not the town yet, and loyalist holdouts in the southern Sahara, where it's believed Gaddafi and his contingent are still hiding out. The man leading the hunt for Gaddafi told NBC News they're getting close. He's going back and forth, not in one place. Uh, but I think he's now under our surveillance, and, and, and I think within the next uh, 10 days, something should happen. In Tripoli, it's hard to tell the war is still going on, or that it was less than four weeks ago that Gaddafi was driven from power. It's a city once again pulsing with life. The market's thriving, fountains refilled, streets clean, beaches packed, oil tankers waiting to be filled. Hope in a future unimaginable only weeks ago. We look forward now. We don't look back. It's a new Libya now. In fact, most of Libya is secure now, safe enough for a visit from British Prime Minister David Cameron and French President Nicolas Sarkozy, architects of the NATO bombing campaign that made the march to Tripoli possible. They were given a hero's welcome, both in Tripoli and Benghazi. Still, Cameron addressed Gaddafi, whose mythic power is not yet extinguished. It is over. Give up. Because the fighting won't be over, liberation won't be complete, until Gaddafi is no longer free. Mike Taibbi, NBC News, Tripoli.